Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, for those of you who have watched previous videos, I work with um, the tarot intuitively, the cards, and um, in my last reading I spoke about um, how we as sensitive beings, as a lot of you watching will be, are right now being called upon to act as conduits for the energy going on around us and the emotions. and because a lot of us have already done that work or are in the process of doing that work it's never done within ourselves to learn how to process emotions and the heavy energy that's going on around us is bringing up a lot of emotions in the world and we are um, some of the few who are actually able to pick up on that but also to, to know how to process those in a healthy way without distracting um, but to feel those emotions and really go through them and to come out the other side and the more we're able to do that on the internal the more that will reflect in our external um, so I wanted to do this um, this video for to provide some support and guidance and some comfort and positivity for those of you who resonate with with what I just said and I, I've brought my cards with me today to the forest but actually I really don't feel like using them because um, I would like to try a channeling today and um, and just see what comes up. I feel like a lot of um, of us are kind of looking to the external in order to provide answers for what's going on, and um, I think that can be really useful to find out what's going on. I think it's it's really important to actually find out what's going on right now um, and not just the official line because there's so much underneath that and beyond and um, the thing is it's a, it's a bit of a rabbit hole really once you pull it a thread. Um, it, the, it, the, the material just keeps unravelling and unravelling and um, it's a time to really practice discernment um, with what's going on because there are so many different um, opinions on on what this is about and this is a reminder to really ultimately the the answers are within each and every one of us and to take on board what um, what this person is saying or this source, this group is saying but even if you agree with a lot of what they say it doesn't mean you have to take everything for example and to and from someone that you might normally find a reliable source or some um, organisation but to really just take every single thing that they say and check how it feels within yourself this is a good practice to strengthen that heart connection with the mind um, and allows you to form your own um, sort of idea of what's going on. Um, because ultimately the answers aren't out there, they are within here. And the more we look out there, the less we're practicing that connection. At the moment, there is there is a, a coming together in so many ways, but there is also a huge, um, almost unprecedented energy of separation, even within groups that were quite strong before, because of all the kind of information that's out there and um, and beliefs that people have. There are so many things happening right now, which is causing each group to, to splinter and splinter. And um, this is exactly what the world doesn't need at the moment. Um, I believe it's a process that we have to go through in order to know ourselves better and to come out the other side. Um, but I believe that that is the ultimate end goal, is to come out the other side feeling more um, as a collective and it's really difficult to do because there there is so much going on and energy is very heavy and the the message I have is to find the the things 
and to focus on the things that you have in common with people rather than focusing on the things that you at the moment um, may not agree on. Um, opinions and, and beliefs chain can change um, all the time, um, especially if you're an open-minded person. Um, but actually with every single person in the world you will have something, probably many things in common with them and that is where the focus should be because that is where we are st our strongest is when we are as a collective and the more we are strong together the less we can be controlled and I don't know about you but at the moment I'm feeling this um, this huge control and it's something that I have always resisted so much from an early age from anyone telling me what to do and now it's the, my external world seems to be telling me what to do more than ever and it's causing some friction within me um, but as I said to come together and to look externally to see the, the things you have in common with people I think can help calm that down Um, I think the people watching this will have all sorts of different um, religious and spiritual um, beliefs but I believe that um, at the moment it's really important to be clear about what kind of future you want and one way of doing that um, is to write um, but also to pray to whoever whatever your highest higher power is um, whether it be God, universe, um, source, energy, love, whatever. Um, even if there's not something that you believe in, but just this an understanding and a recognition that there is something much bigger than just us. And to regularly um, communicate and... Um, yeah, pray, meditate, whatever you want to call it, to that higher source so that every day you can be clear about what kind of path it is that you want for you and your family and your community. To realise that through this emotional time, like I said in my last video, not all the emotions are going to be personal to you they will be what you're picking up from um, around the people that you're with and and further um, because it is very strong at the moment and um, a lot of us are so sensitive and it's really important to discern um, you know what is ours and what isn't but we can still process it nonetheless and um, to be grateful for that and to be thankful that we are sensitive enough to be picking up on those things going on The world is so loud at the moment and to find a, a space that's your own, um, even if it's just once a week to get out and be somewhere where there is nobody else, I mean that it, it's not always easy to find actually. Um, well, in, in my country it doesn't always seem that way, um, even though I'm in the middle of the forest I've got a path here and a path there. Um, and it can be quite difficult to find that space sometimes but it's really important to be able to do so so that we can expand um, our energy field and um, and not just keep ourselves like this and shut inside and just to, to get out into nature helps us to just remember what is actually important with all of this going on because the animals around here, they're not thinking about that. They're just living and they're just being. And um, sometimes we can get caught up being inside. And especially with phones and televisions, we can forget what what a beautiful earth we are living on and what capacity this, this earth has for abundance and um, connection with nature. 
and we have a real opportunity here to make a new positive normal and carve that how we want it to look um, to create that abundant future where we there is more than enough food and resources and everything to go around for everybody. Okay, this last message is um, just to show appreciation for everybody who's watching this and to send something positive to somebody today.